Hello guys, today I wanted to show you how to do a proper ultrasound assessment of the trigger finger, what we call the flexor uh, tendons of the hand that allow us to flex our fingers. Trigger finger is also known as stenosis tenosynovitis of the flexor tendons, the FPP and FPS. Um, there is a series of pulleys that we have in our hands and when those pulleys get inflamed, primarily the A1 pulley, the flexors tendon, tendons get inflame and sometimes they catch and they lock we refer to them as a trigger finger so we could easily diagnose that objectively um, with the ultrasound in the office and i'm going to show you what a normal one looks like um, on the ultrasound assessment so the first thing we want to we want to do is to visualize our flexor tendons and um, i just found them right there just to orientation purpose top is going to be skin this is going to be the flexor tendons and here is going to be my mcp joint what I'm going to do, I'm going to actively flex the finger so we can see the tendons moving nice and smooth. Again, this is an intact or a normal um, uh, patient. He does not have trigger finger. But what we're going to be concentrating right now in long axis is the A1 pulley, which is this hypoechoic line right on top of the flexor tendons at the level of the MCPs. Sometimes we could wig wag the probe a little bit so we could kind of see the fibers and the fascial changes. And right in there, we could actually see the A1 pulling slightly, um, I'm sorry, the flexor tendon sliding under the A1 pulley. Um, in a pathological patient or in a patient that has trigger finger, that pulley will be thickened and you could actually measure that. But the most important, we could actually dynamically move the fingers and you could see the tendon catching or not moving as smooth. Again, a very easy assessment and diagnosis in the office with ultrasound assessment, non-invasive diagnosing trigger finger. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy the video.